Do you want to know how we have improved Candela Studio with our new features in version 18? Then stay tuned! Hello, my name is Tatjana Tunge and I'm Product Management Engineer for Candela Studio. In this video, I'd like to show you some highlights of Candela Studio version 18. We have implemented some improvements regarding the creation and handling of events in Candela Studio. The new option, Sync DTC to Event, can be found in the document properties at Document Info. Candela Studio automatically creates an event when a new DTC is created or updates it when the DTC is modified or deleted. You can use a default event in the base library to set default properties that are automatically set for newly created events. As we can see here, we can also define an event name pattern in the default event. For example, to automatically use the DTC hex code in the event name of the automatically created event. The event list also shows all the map DTCs of an event. And the creation of a navigation to debounce algorithms has become more comfortable by using the new buttons next to the drop-down list. With version 18, we have introduced two new license types into Candela Studio, the Data Exchange Server Edition and the Data Export Server Edition. The new license types now provide the option to run Candela Studio imports and exports in a server environment to integrate it into automation processes like continuous integration, delivery, testing, or another server infrastructure. As they are designed for automated processes, they do not have a user interface and can only be started via command line tools or scripts. While the Data Exchange Server Edition allows imports and exports of data, the Data Export Server Edition only allows the export of data. Until now, undoing operations in Candela files was not possible, and saving revisions of the file was the most practical workaround. With Candela Studio 18, the new undo redo feature supports undoing and redoing simple operations like renaming a diagnostic instance or more complex operations. If we rename the boot software diagnostic instance, for example, to application software, we can see that the reference in the A sample variant is also renamed. In the menu, we can now go to Home, Undo, Redo and click on the Undo button on the left. We can see that the changes are undone in the diagnostic instance of both variants. If we click on the Redo button on the right, the changes are redone again. Also check out our new and improved Candela Studio help for more details on this feature. The Digital Annex is an extension of the OBD2 or OBD on UDS specification and describes the protocol details in a structured XLSX file. If you have a license of the Digital Annex, you might want to use the data in your ECU description. Since Candela Studio 18, you can now use the OBD Digital Annex import to import the data from the OBD Digital Annex into a CDD file. The CDD must be based on a Candela template that already contains the respective OBD protocol service, like the Vector UDS template, for example. In the menu at Data Exchange OBD Digital Annex import, you can start the import wizard. Here, you need to select the OBD Digital Annex XLSX files, and then the import adds the OBD data into the previously selected variant of a CDD file. A detailed explanation on what OBD Digital Annex is and how to use it in Candela Studio is available in another vector engineering video. The link is in the video description. The service-oriented vehicle diagnostics, short SOVD, is a standard dedicated to vehicle diagnostics for the upcoming software-defined vehicles. It is based on UDS for diagnostics and uses Ethernet technology like HTTP REST, JSON, etc. The API is specified using the open API format. With Candela Studio 18, you can now use the SOVD open API export to create an open API JSON file based on a CDD file that includes a diagnostic description following the UDS standard. You can find the export at Data Exchange SOVD Open API Export. This JSON file describes the HTTP API of the ECU, which can then be used to validate the SOVD API for a UDS ECU, to develop SOVD based scripts, or to document SOVD API as input for a SOVD client. Another video will give you a detailed explanation on what SOVD is and how to use the SOVD Open API Export in Candela Studio. 
You can also contact Vector for an SOVD evaluation kit. These were some highlights of version 18. As usual, you can find a complete list of our improvements in the release notes. I hope you like our new features. Thank you for watching and goodbye. We have many more videos on our tech tutorial channel. Please subscribe and activate the bell to never miss new clips. I'd really like to see you watch the next diagnostics video.